Hi, so for today, we are going to talk about the integrals of exponential functions, part 2. So if you haven't watched the part 1, please do so. So again, in this video, we're going to solve problems involving the exponential function. So this here is our formula again for the integral of e raised to u du equals e raised to u plus c. So let's try to solve e raised to x multiplied by the square root of 1 plus e raised to x, we have dx. So what are we going to do here first is that uh, we are going to convert the integral to this uh, or convert the radical into an exponential, okay? So that we would see it clearly. So as you can see, this is a u substitution. We can let u as 1 plus e raised to x and get the derivative of u with respect to s as e raised to x dx. Okay? I have here e raised to x multiplied by the dx. So, to see it clearly, if I'm going to rewrite this, okay, I have e raised to x dx, which is equal to du. So, it's none other than u substitution. So, we have integral of du, 1 plus e raised to x raised to 1 half. Okay, that's raised to 1 half. And e raised to x dx equals the du. So we have du here. So we have resolved the integral into a much simpler integrand so that we can integrate this using the power formula. So that becomes u raised to 1 half plus 1. That becomes 3 halves all over 3 halves plus c. And that is 2 thirds u raised to 3 halves plus c. But take note that u equals... 1 plus e raised to x. So we have to back substitute it to its original variable. So we have 2 thirds. Okay, and then we have 1 plus e raised to x raised to 3 halves. And then we have plus c. Okay, and this is our final answer for this problem number 1. Okay. So let's try to go now to problem number 2. It's pretty easy, right? So, problem number 2, the integral of e raised to x. And then we have 3 e raised to x minus 2 squared dx. Okay? So, this is, again, none other than a u substitution. So, if we're going to let u, okay, let u equals 3 e raised to x minus 2, Derivative of u with respect to x would be 3e e raised to x dx. So as you can see, we have e raised to x dx here. All I have to do is to isolate e raised to x 3x, e raised to x dx here by dividing both sides by 3. So we have du all over 3 here, and then we have e raised to x dx here. And we can now perform the u substitution. So we have integral of the u, 3e e raised to x minus 2, u squared, and then we have the e raised to x dx is equal to du all over 3. So we have du all over 3. I can factor out one third outside of the integral sign as a property of integrals. So I have now one third integral of u squared uh, du. So that becomes power formula. We have u cubed all over 3 plus c. And then we have one third times one third. That's 1 over 9 u raised to 3 plus c plus c but again u equals what u equals 3 e raised to x minus 2 so that we have 1 over 9 3 e raised to x minus 2 cubed plus c so that's how we solve this type of integral okay so basically we're going to be using u substitution okay whenever we we are involved or we have a an exponential function in the integral. We must take note that there is a big possibility okay, that we will be using u substitution. Okay. So number three, we have integral of e raised to one all over one over x all over x squared dx. So this is a little bit tricky because we cannot use u substitution directly because we cannot let 1 all over x is our uh, u. Okay. So we cannot let that. Okay. 
and we can actually uh i think we can actually but it, it would result into d all over dx of negative 1 over x squared dx okay so let us try let us try so we have u equals uh, 1 over x the du with respect to the x is negative 1 all over x squared dx. And so, we have dx over x squared. So, I can multiply this by negative 1. So, our dx all over x squared is this. So, that is dx all over x squared. That is the same as this. So, we have negative du all over 1 all over x squared dx. Or dx all over x squared. So, dx all over x squared. So now, finally, I can substitute, okay, the integral e raised to u multiplied by negative du here. Okay, I can factor out negative e raised to u and then we have du. So that would be negative e raised to u plus c. Okay, so that becomes what? Negative e raised to, what is our uh, u? 1 all over x. Okay, okay, plus C. So, we arrive at this answer. Or, we can also use this method. So, if we are going to rearrange e raised to 1 all over x, all over x squared dx, we can uh, actually bring up the x squared. So, we have e raised to 1 all over x multiplied by x raised to negative 2 dx. And then, this 1 all over x, I can e raised to negative or that would be I can factor up, or I can uh, bring up the 1 all over x as x raised to negative 1 multiplied by x raised to negative 2 dx so that I can let u equals x raised to negative 1 and du okay is negative x raised to negative 2 dx so that I have x raised to negative 2 dx here so, I can isolate negative du x raised to negative 2 dx. Okay? So, if you perform the same substitution, you will still get the same answer as this. Okay? So, you can perform either of the two. Okay? So, I've just shown you the other way of solving it. Okay? Possible uh, option. So, let's try number four. For number four, find the integral of e raised to x 1 plus 2 e raised to x raised to 4 dx again this is a u substitution we can let usually the ones that are being substituted by u is the one who is what raised to a certain degree so 1 plus 2 e raised to x if we get the derivative of u with respect to x that is 2 e raised to x dx which is e raised to x dx is available in the integrand so, e raised to x dx, I can go into isolate this. So, this would be du all over 2, e raised to x dx. So, we have the integral of what? We have the u raised to 4 multiplied by du all over 2. So, I can factor out 1 half. This becomes u raised to 4. Then, we have du here. And then, what next? what's next is that this is simple power rule so we have u raised to 5 all over 5 plus c 1 half plus times 1 fifth that's 1 all over 10 u raised to 5 plus c but u equals 1 plus 2 e raised to x so we can substitute it back to its original variable so we have 1 all over 10 then 1 plus 2 e raised to x raised to 5 plus c so this is our final answer for this problem of uh, exponential uh, problem function. Okay? So it's very easy, right? <laughs> so for number 5, let's try to again integrate e raised to 4x minus e raised to negative 4x squared dx. Now, we cannot use substitution here. Okay, so let's go now for number 5. For number 5, what are we going to do is we are going to actually integrate this given function. Okay, we have no option in integrating this but to perform FOIL, so to expand this. So this becomes e raised to 4x, okay, 
times e raised to 4x first. And then the second term would be multiplying all the terms, including its signs. So let's try positive first. So I have e raised to 4x multiplied by e raised to negative 4x. Of course, we have the negative here. So that's the shortcut in FOIL, shortcut. So we have e raised to negative 4x and then multiplied by 2. That's the second term. And the last term is, would be this one, including the sign squared. Okay, it's is squared. And that is actually what? Multiplied all by the dx. Okay, so we have to simplify this. We add the exponents because they have the same base and it is multiplication. So e raised to 8x. Okay, and this one, 2e raised to 4x, that becomes plus or minus, I mean, because 2 times negative, that becomes negative 2e raised to 4x. Okay, and then multiplied by e raised to 4x. And then this is squared. So this would be squared. So what will happen to this is that this becomes e raised to negative 8x. So if this is squared, so we multiply 2 by the exponent. So it becomes negative 8x. So it becomes positive because negative times negative is positive. Okay, so we have dx here. Okay, so we have integral of e raised to 8x, and we know that this should cancel because e raised to uh, negative 4x and then 4x, e raised to negative 4x plus 4x would be e raised to 0, which is actually equal to 1. So this becomes negative 2 only, plus e raised to negative 8x dx. So by applying the sum and difference of the integral, so we can rewrite this whole integral as integral of e raised to 8x dx minus integral of 2 dx plus the integral of e raised to negative 8x dx. So we let u equals to 8x here and du would be 8 dx and then we have du all over 8 equals dx because we need only dx. So we are going to get dx so that we can perform u substitution. Uh, second term has no problem. So in this, we need to let u as negative 8x. du would be negative 8 dx. And du all over negative 8 would be dx. So we need to express this again in terms of dx to perform the u substitution. Okay, And to use the formula above. So what happens is that we have what we have e raised to u okay multiplied by dx here is our dx here is our dx so what's dx du all over 8 so we have du all over 8 then minus 2 integral of dx factoring the constant outside of the integral sign okay and then we have now what uh, plus integral of e raised to u multiplied by dx, which is equivalent to du all over negative 8. Okay. So, factoring out the constants, we have 1, 8, e raised to u. Okay. du minus 2 integral of dx plus, or this would be, becomes negative 1 all over 8 because we factor out the negative 1 all over 8 in the du. Okay. So, that becomes 1, 8, e raised to u minus 2x. Okay, integral of dx is x minus 1 over 8 e raised to u plus c. But we need to substitute back the variables u that we have solved in the given, uh, we substitute in the given equation. So we have 1, 8 e raised to u, which is 8x minus 2x minus 1 all over 8 e raised to what? This is negative 8. Okay. 8x plus c. And that should be our final answer for this second or for this uh, fifth problem. Okay? So for our fifth problem. So that will be our answer. So how about for the last number? So we have 6 we have the integral of, oops, 6, the integral of, sorry, okay, 
I think I I click something. Okay. So we have integral of we have e raised to x, then we have one minus e raised to x, and then we have one plus e raised to x raised to ten dx. So obviously we are going to let one plus e raised to x ten as our u. That's the key. That's the actually the, the hint. Okay, whatever term is raised to some power that becomes our u. Most likely that will become our u. Let's try 1 plus e raised to x. So get the derivative of u with respect to x that is e raised to x dx. Okay, so you can see we have e raised to x dx here. So we can substitute the du. Okay, so we have du and we have u as here. This is our u. And we have du. How about this? We need to find a way on how are we going to solve this. So from u, from our first equation here, u equals 1 plus e raised to x. I'm going to get e raised to x in terms of u. So that becomes u minus 1 equals e raised to x. So that I can substitute the e raised to x here with u minus 1. Because I need all of the terms here to be substituted into u and du in order for me to integrate. Okay, in order for us to integrate. So let's try. So what happens is that we have 1 minus 1 minus e raised to x. What is our e raised to x? This is u minus 1. So that is u minus 1. That is our 1 minus e raised to x here. So and next one is the 1 plus e raised to x which we substituted as our u raised to 10. And of course, we have the du as e raised to x dx. So we have du here. So it's very simple. Distribute the minus sign here. Okay, be careful on doing that. So that would be 1 minus u. Negative times negative would be plus 1. Then we have u raised to 10. Then we have du here. So we have 2 minus u multiplied by u raised to 10 du. So I can what? I can distribute u raised to 10 to these two factors. So we have 2u raised to 10 okay, minus this has an exponent 1. So if we multiply u raised to 10, the exponent will add. So that becomes u raised to 11 du. And now we can apply the difference integral formula. So we have 2u raised to 10 du minus the integral of u raised to 11 du. I can factor out 2 outside of the integral sign because that is a constant. And now, by power formula, integral of u raised to 10, u raised to 11 over 11 minus u raised to 12 over 12 plus c. So this becomes our answer 2 over 11 u raised to 11 minus 1 all over 12 u raised to 12 plus c. But take note, u equals what? This is our u, 1 plus e raised to x. So we need to back substitute it to its original variable in order for us to get the correct answer. So we have 2 all over 11, our u is 1 plus e raised to x raised to 11, minus 1 all over 12, 1 plus e raised to x raised to 12, plus c. And that is our answer for this last problem. So I hope you guys enjoy that, the exponential or the integral involving exponential functions, part 2. So if you haven't watched my video on the part one, please make sure to watch it first, okay, so that you will be having more examples to learn, okay? So, thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. This is Engineer Abat. See you again next video.